Jesus, he never fails. Jesus, he never fails. Heaven and earth shall pass away, but Jesus never fails. Jesus, he never fails. Jesus, he never fails. Heaven and earth shall pass away, but Jesus never fails. Jesus, he never fails. Jesus, he never fails. Heaven and earth shall pass away, but Jesus never fails. Jesus, he never fails. Jesus, he never fails. Heaven and earth shall pass away, but Jesus never fails. I tried him, he never fails. I tried him, he never fails. Heaven and earth shall pass away, but Jesus never fails. Oh, Jesus, he never fails. Jesus, he never fails. Heaven and earth shall pass away, but Jesus never fails. Oh, Jesus, he never fails. Jesus, he never fails. Heaven and earth shall pass away, but Jesus never fails. Oh, Jesus, he never fails. Jesus, he never fails. Heaven and earth shall pass away, but Jesus never fails. Well, God bless you. Good morning, Deacon Brian. Good morning, Mika. God bless you. Good morning, Sister Margaret. God bless you. Bishop Desnett Alde and Lady Alde. God bless you. Sister Poteet Robinson. Good morning, Miriam. Good morning, Sister Riley. God bless you. Sister Fletcher. Good morning, Duchess. God bless you. Good morning, Sister Rodriguez. God bless you. Good morning, Pastor Hargrove. God bless you. And Lady Hargrove. Good morning, Sister Jackson Perry. God bless you. Brother Perry and the family. Good morning, Sister Tibbs. God bless you. Good morning, Lady Winston. God bless you and Pastor Winston. Good morning, Sister Bailey. God bless you. Good morning, Brother Comfort. God bless you. Good morning, Sister Minor. God bless you. Good morning, Sister Devon. God bless you. Good morning, Sister Walker. God bless you. Good morning, Sister Fletcher. God bless you. Good morning, Lady Williams. God bless you and Pastor Williams. Good morning, Sister Talaferro. God bless you. Good morning, Duchess. God bless you, Brother Aaron and the family. Good morning, Stephen. God bless you. Good morning, Sister Eleanor. God bless you. Good morning, Sister Saunders. God bless you. Good morning, Sister Riley, God bless you. Good morning, Elder and Mother Bailey. God bless you. Good morning, Nene. God bless you. Good morning, Sister Beckett. God bless you. Good morning, Sister Perkins. God bless you. Good morning, Sister Matthews. Good morning, Elder and Sister Mott. God bless you both. Good morning. Praise the Lord, Katrina. God bless you and your family. Good morning, Brother Stokes. Praise Jesus. God bless you, Sister Stokes and the family. Good morning, Juliet. God bless you. Good morning. Good morning, Sister Rich. God bless you. Good morning, Sister Smith. God bless you. Good morning, Sister Keelan. God bless you. Good morning, Sister Blunt Robinson. God bless you. Good morning, Missionary Leah. God bless you. Good morning, Dr. Haywood and Sister Haywood. God bless you both. Good morning, Mother Wilson. God bless you. Good morning, Sister Riley. Good morning, Sister Speller. Good morning, Mother Pride. God bless you. Good morning, Sister Margot. God bless you. Good morning, Deacon Triplett. God bless you and your family. Well, good morning and praise the Lord, everybody. And welcome to the morning prayer with Pastor Reginald Davis. And as always, it's an honor, a privilege, and a pleasure to be able to spend a few moments with you with a biblical meditation and in prayer. For more things have been wrought by prayer than the world will ever know. And we continue to witness the power of God, the manifestation of God, and the grace of God through prayer. Saints, I tell you that prayer works works. Hallelujah. Prayer works. If you want to receive a miracle from God, if you want God to bless your life, your family, if you want God to bless those things that concern you naturally and spiritually, we need to spend time 
in prayer. We need to spend time in prayer, believing and trusting God for what we know that God is indeed able to do. The Lord continues to show his favor to us and we are blessed and we are thanking God once again for his goodness and his mercy in our lives. All that God is doing for us because God is indeed working. God is indeed helping us. God is indeed strengthening us. Sheila, go out and come back in because I think everybody else can hear. So if you can't hear me on Instagram, please tell me. But if not, if not, Sheila, you might want to go out and come back in if you can't hear. But in any event, God is continuing to bless us. And we know, we know that God answers prayer. As always, if you have a prayer request, we want you to share that with us. If you're on Facebook, you can share it right in the chat or you can inbox Reginald Davis or inbox Refuge Temple Church. If you're on Instagram, you can place your prayer requests right in the chat or you can direct message Pastor RJD. And to everybody that's um, on the conference call, everybody on YouTube or anybody that has a prayer request can text them in to 336-567-5358. Again, that number is 336-567-5358. You can text your prayer request. We're adding them to the prayer list. We're praying over them and we are joining our faith to your faith and we are believing God for what we know God is indeed able to do. I want to move now to Psalms, Psalm number 19, which is one of my favorite Psalms. Psalm number 19 is a personal favorite of mine. And I just want to read for right now verses 1 through 6. Psalm 19 verses 1 through six. The heavens declare the glory of God, and the firmament showeth his handiwork. Day unto day utter of speech, and night unto night showeth knowledge. There is no speech nor language where their voice is not heard. Their line is gone out through all the earth, and their words to the end of the world. In them hath he set a tabernacle for the sun which is as a bridegroom coming out of his chamber and rejoices as a strong man to run a race. His going forth is from the end of the heaven and his circuit unto the ends of it. And there is nothing hid from the heat thereof. I want to talk to you um, from this theme, God revealed. God revealed. It is the responsibility of every believer to do whatever they can to reveal God to the world. The role of the church is to reveal Jesus Christ to the world. And everything about God, everything about the Bible, everything about the Holy Spirit is tied to the revelation of God. God being shown, God being manifested, God being clearly connected with humanity, everything. Look in the scripture and you see that the purpose of everything that we study, even in the word of God, is for the revelation of God, that we might know God, understand God, and have a connection with God. The Psalms, as I've been telling you from the beginning since we started studying and reading through Psalms, is man's connection or man's response to God. Whereas most of the other scriptures in the Bible are um, in direct instruction or prophetic or principle or um, narratives about God dealing with man, Psalms talks to us about how man relates to God how man understands God. But even in that revelation, it is still designed to reveal God, still designed that we might better understand and better connect with God. And so, the, the, and, and you know, God is real. And whether people choose to accept or reject or believe or disbelieve, God is real. And everything about life believe it or not, is a revelation of God. Everything about um, who we are, 
the world, the universe, everything that God created was created to reveal him. Everything that God made was made so that he might be revealed. Now, this psalm has really two distinct parts, verses 1 through 6 and verses 7 through 14. Very distinct, very distinct, Um, because one reveals God as um, God. And uses the name God. The heavens declare the glory of God. Then in verse 7, the law of the Lord is perfect. And there is a difference. These are not just interchangeable words. I know we interchange them. We call God. We call him the Lord. We say we call him the Lord and we call God. And and but but they are distinct names for God. And each name has a different level of revelation. God is a revelation of his power, his ability. All right. Same um same as um Elohim. Elohim is a plural word, not because there's more than one God, but because God is multifaceted in his ability and his creation. And so verse nine, verse one of chapter of, of Psalm 19 says the heavens declare God, the heavens reveal God, the Elohim, the creator, the progenitor, the beginning. All right. God almighty, as we would understand it, the heavens declare God. Verse 7 calls him Lord, and Lord is Jehovah, which is more relational. It is the Lord connecting with us, him becoming our Lord, our sovereign, our leader, our protector, our keeper. But all of this applies to God, and God is revealed in everything that he does. And this psalm reveals God first in creation, and then reveals God through his word. And both are needed. You know, you need to recognize the greatness and the wonder and the majesty of God. And you see it in the working of the universe. The heavens declare the glory of God. If you don't know God is real, if you don't know God hallelujah, is sovereign, if you don't know God is Lord, just look up at the heavens. Look at the majesty of the stars, the stars sitting there shining in the night. Look at the sun, hallelujah, rising early in the morning, and you see the reality of God. Look at the moon, the silver queen of the night, revealing the majesty of God. God created all of this, and when I look into the heavens, and when I look into the sky, I see God. I see God revealing himself to us. God is real, saints. Ashiana. Oh God, who else could have made this? I know the scientists give you the Big Bang Theory, but somebody had to light the fuse for the Big Bang. Somebody had to create, oh God, the catalyst by which all of these things were created. And just look at the wonder of creation, that all of this was created. And here we are, the, the other nine, eight planets of our solar system, but only one planet able to sustain life in the right position to, from the sun so that life could grow, vegetation could grow, man could exist. That's God. That's God. That's not random chance. That's not accidental. That's not just something that happened. That's God creating, God revealing himself in the heavens, the firmament show of his handiwork. Look at the clouds that hold all of this immense water, and, and, and very rarely does it all come crashing at one time. It comes drop by drop. Sometimes the rain is heavy, sometimes the rain is light, but it is normally dispensed drop by drop. Only when we have hurricanes do we have torrential type of rain, but typically the rain falls just to give water to the earth, give water Water to the vegetation. That's the firmament that separates the water from the water. The Bible says that the earth was without form and void, but God created the firmament to separate the waters, oh God, on the ground from the waters in the heaven. God did all of that. God created all of that, and he sends the rain in increments so that for the most part, no, it doesn't destroy us, but it nurtures us and it waters us. The heavens declare the glory of God. Day and today, 
day utter of speech. In other words, the clouds, the stars, the moon is speaking to us, hallelujah, telling us that God is great, telling us about the creative power and the ability of God, telling us what God is able to form. And he did all of this, if you know Genesis, out of his word. He just spoke. He just spoke. He just spoke. And all of this was created out of the sheer word of God. Then it says, there is no speech nor language where their voice is not heard. In other words, no matter what your native tongue is, no matter what your language is, you have a word in your language for sky. You have a word for moon. You have a word for stars. And all of these things reveal the power and the presence of God. It is simply revealed. It's simply shown. It says that, that, that it is speaking. The earth is speaking. The clouds are speaking. The stars are speaking. Everything God has created is speaking. And there is no language barrier because all of us can see what God has done. All of us can see what God has created. Their line is going out through the earth. In other words, their circuit, their words to the end of the earth. In them hath he set a tabernacle for the sun. The sun is designed to worship God. Hallelujah. The sun, when it shines, every single day when it shines without hallelujah nobody flipping a switch nobody telling the sun to shine we move around the sun and as we move around the sun in the earth the sun gives light every day it does it every day it's done it for years and years thousands and perhaps millions of years this sun is shined on us because God created it to do so doesn't burn us up the tabernacle, the sun is a tabernacle. The sun is a place of worship. The sun is a place of adoration to God. God revealing himself through nature. Hallelujah. Which is as a bride, a bridegroom coming out of his chamber. And he rejoices as a strong man to run a race. The sun never comes weak. The sun never half shines. We, we, we may not see the sun shining because the clouds block the sun. But trust me, the sun is there. Trust me, the sun is there giving light and heat and warmth to the earth, giving us comfort, giving us protection, causing the grass to grow, the flowers to bloom, the trees to blossom. All of this in sequence after God's word. Think about the seasons that all come. I know sometimes winters are colder, sometimes summer is hotter, but guess what? They come after the order of God because he created it to be so. He made it to be so. Going forth unto the ends of the earth. There is nothing hid from the heat thereof. Everything feels the heat of the creation of God. What, 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 what is David or what is David saying in this text? David is saying that everybody can know God. Everybody can know God. If you don't know God is real, look up at the sky. If you don't know God is real, behold the stars. If you don't know God is real, look at the clouds. Look at, hallelujah, the moon. Look at everything God has created because all of this is a reflection of the greatness of God. All of this is a reflection of what God has done. Why do we celebrate this? We celebrate this because this is a revelation of who God is. And the Bible says that we can clearly understand even the sinner. Even the sinner understands the creative power of God. They may not want to acknowledge it. They might ignore it. They might pretend that God doesn't exist. But if you look up at this nature that God created, everything shows and reveals God. And so we are highly accountable because we know. The Bible says, I'm going to read this in Romans chapter 1. For the wrath of God is revealed from heaven against all ungodliness and unrighteousness of men who hold the truth of of God in unrighteousness because that which may be known of God is manifested in them for God have shown it unto him for the invisible things of him from the creation of the world are clearly seen being understood by the things that are made even his eternal power and Godhead so that they are without excuse there is no excuse for us not to worship maybe you weren't raised in church Maybe you weren't raised to know anything about the Bible. Maybe you weren't raised to know anything about God. But if you look at creation, it provides a reason to worship. 
somebody did that. Somebody created this. Somebody formed this. Somebody made all of this happen. Somebody made everything that we walk on and live on and, and dwell in the oxygen. No other, no other planet in our solar system has the ability to sustain life but the earth, because God created it so. So there's just enough oxygen, just enough nitrogen, just enough of the right gases so we can breathe and live. All of this was the creation of God. And when you look at this from what it is, you have to acknowledge that God is real. Yes, he is. God is real. Nature tells us, nature tells us that God is real. Nature tells us that God has created these things and all of these things exist and go on and you know what how they do it because they are formed clearly by the word of the living God so there's no excuse for any of us not to glorify him not to celebrate him not to honor him not to not to give him glory not to oh God reverence him because everything in this world is clearly seen so that we understand that God is real Oh, Shanama, God is real. Yes, he is. God is real. And if I didn't have a Bible, if I have eyes, I know God is real. If I didn't have the scripture, because I have eyes, because I can feel the warmth of the sun, because I can breathe oxygen in my lungs, because I can walk in the midst of the clouds and not be drowned by the rain, I know that God is real because he is the creator, the Elohim, God Almighty spoke all of this into existence. The Bible says he spoke and it was done. He commanded and it stood fast. All of this is a revelation of God. Oh, Shanama. Oh, God. Saints, I know he's real today. So many people doubt him, but I can't live without him. That is why I love him so, because he is so real. Oh, God, to me. Thank God. We're going to go back to part two on tomorrow and finish this psalm, but I thank God. God that re the, the earth reveals the power, the might, and the ability of God. God bless you, my brothers and sisters. Let's go before the Lord in prayer. Gracious God, I love you. I thank you for your goodness, your mercy, your grace, your love, and your kindness. I thank you because you continue daily to share with us the reality of who you are. Lord, you're not hidden. You're not hiding. You're not somewhere in the shadows. But everything about life reveals you. Everything about creation reveals you. Everything about this world the stars, the moon, the universe reveals you. And so, Lord, I begin this prayer by just acknowledging you as the God that we serve, the wonderful God, the Elohim, Jehovah, Adonai, Jesus, all of these things you are. Hey, God, and you've created all of this by the word of your power. And I thank you for being the creator this morning. I thank you for keeping us last night and waking us this morning. I thank you, God, that we were able to get out of the bed and get prepared to join this great cadre of believers from all over the world. I thank you, God, for grace and mercy, for the forgiveness of sins, for your grace in our lives. And God, I just want to give you the glory because I know that you're real. And Lord, I thank you for everybody that has joined this prayer room today. Lord God, whether they're on the conference call or Instagram or Facebook or YouTube, however they have come into the prayer room, God, I thank you that we're in the prayer room right now. And Lord, I want your power, your glory, hey, everything about you to be revealed in this prayer room. Thank you, God. Thank you, God, because you continue to show your favor to us. And Lord, while we're here, Lord, release blessings, 
miracles, unexpected favor into somebody's life. Somebody, my Shandolobo Siakaye, that needs a miracle today. Somebody that needs a touch. Somebody that needs grace. Lord, I'm praying right now that you would minister to their needs and their necessities. God, I'm praying today for the Grant family. I'm praying for the Bellamy family, for the Jones family. I'm praying for Stephanie. I'm praying for Jacques this morning, that you would cover and protect him. I'm praying for Eric this morning. I'm praying for Mother Beverly Hargrove. Oh God, that you would strengthen her and her family now. I'm praying for Cammy and the Gates family. I'm praying for the Johnson family, the Harrell family, the Deserve family, the Jackson family. I'm praying for Queen of James and her family. I'm praying for Pierre's family. I'm praying for families everywhere. God, that you would strengthen them. God, that you would help them to be godly places of nurturing, oh God, for everybody. God, that they would operate in harmony and peace, God. Lord, that you would solve, oh God, problems and issues, that you would deliver from unforgiveness, that you would reconcile, my God, differences and bring families together. I'm praying for Nicole. God, in Monday today, I'm praying for Lori Reese. I'm praying for Kimberly Crawford and family. I'm praying for Rosa Hamilton. I'm praying for Brenda Parker, for Justin Edwards. I'm praying for Nikki, God. I'm praying for Sister Phillips' daughter, that you would open the door and bless her in the name of Jesus Christ. I'm praying for serenity. I'm praying for Sister Miller and family. I'm praying for the mothers of Greater Refuge Temple today, that you would bless and strengthen them. I'm praying for the Graves children and grandchildren. I'm praying, my God, for Jay Eason. Every name that's on the prayer list, every name in the chat, every name sent by messenger or text or email, God, that you would step in. Lord, I'm praying that you would save. Oh, God, save to the utmost. Everybody, everybody that is outside of the ark of safety, Lord, call them. Come, bring them to repentance. Bring them to acknowledging who you are. Bring them, God, that they might repent and be born of the water and of the spirit in the name of Jesus Christ. Minister to their needs right now. Touch them wherever they are and help them now in the name of Jesus Christ. Everybody, God, I'm praying for the unspoken request, God, that you would minister as only you can, oh God, and solve issues and problems and do what only you can do. God, I'm praying for healing today for the sick. Everybody, my God, that is sick everywhere. God, that you would touch them in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I'm praying for Mother Wilson today. I'm praying for James. I'm praying for Alexis Smith, for Lamont Edwards, for Joyce Young, for Gloria Young, for Charles Reese, for Madonna Schaefer. I'm praying for Miracle Destiny, for Margaret Speller. God, I'm lifting up Mother Barbara Davis today. I'm praying for Deacon Davis's brother. God, I'm praying for Brother Page this morning. Lord, everybody that's sick everywhere. I'm praying for Peggy, for Christian. I'm praying, my God, for missionary Janet Davis, that you would be with her and cover her and protect her. I'm praying, my God, for Anne Angie, oh God, for her recovery. I'm praying for Bishop Henry Hargrove right now. God, that you would undertake and touch, oh God, his body, his spirit. Strengthen him now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. God, you're still a miracle worker, and I'm praying for a miracle for the man of God. I'm praying for Isabella. I'm praying for District Elder Mark Jones, for Annette Oliver, for Keisha Bryant, for Maxine Grant, for Ada Bell. I'm praying for Mishan Robinson, for Yvette Humans. I'm praying for Mother Holmes his neighbor. I'm praying for missionary Domingo, missionary Brisbane, missionary Roseman, missionary Hodges, Deacon Grant today. I'm praying, my God, for Pastor and Lady Winston, for Mother Owens this morning. I'm praying, my God, for Bishop D, for Apostle Keith. Lord, stretch out your healing hand. Remember, my God, Michelle Wilson. Remember Otis Hanson today. Remember George Comet. Remember Mother Fields this morning. We're praying for Deborah Jones. We're praying for Elder and Sister Adams. Everybody that needs to healing touch everywhere. God touch them. Remember Bishop Alfonso Brooks, Mother Shirley Clark, Mother Evangeline Jenkins, Lady Andrea Maxwell, Mother Carol Coleman. God remember Sister Shakaya Polk. God I'm praying today that you look on my God. Hallelujah in the name of Jesus. Lady Andrea Maxwell. I'm praying God that you would remember my God. Bishop and Mother Vincent. Oh God. Mother Celestine Peters. Bishop Gregory Wilder. Bishop Irving Taylor. Bishop Alvin Palmer. Apostle Herbert Evers. Apostle Lee 
Leroy Joseph, Apostle, my God, Charles Williams, Apostle Sylvester Norwood, God, with your healing hand, touch them in the name of Jesus Christ. I'm praying, my God, that you remember, hallelujah, Brother Wiggins, Brother and Mother Sherrod, Deacon and Mother Garland today. Look on Dr. Hayward, Sister Hayward. Look on Mother Jill, Mother Pride this morning. Look on Mother Chambers in the name of Jesus, Mother Carter, Mother Moorhead, Lady Staten, everybody, my God, that needs strength in their body. Cynthia Baisden today. God, look on her now in the name of Jesus Christ. I'm praying that you would remember Hallelujah, Pastor Carr and Minister Carr, that you would look on, my God. Remember Elder Tyson, Elder Smith. God, I'm praying today that you would remember, oh God, and give grace and healing to Mother Foster. Oh God, in the name of Jesus Christ, oh God, Henry J., Brother Cliff. God, remember them now. I'm praying, oh God, for Mother Home and Mich Mother, oh God, Tanaj, Missionary Simmons today. I'm praying for healing for Cynthia, Catherine, and Duchess. I'm praying today that you would strengthen, my God, Marlette, that you would heal. Maurice today, that you would remember Dennis and Tony, my God and Kimberly and Chris, everybody watching today, whatever the condition my God, we know that you are a healer, so God, visit the hospital today, the nursing home, the rehab center, the hospice center, my God go into the COVID ward, the cancer ward, my God, go everywhere, there's somebody sick, even somebody watching today, that needs healing, touch their bodies, in the name of Jesus Christ, God, I'm praying today for grieving people everywhere. I'm lifting up Sister Patterson. I'm praying for Lisa Mays, for Janine. I'm praying for Cassandra Riley, for the Hill and Jones family, for the Kennedy family, my God, in the way of the cross, Church International. I'm praying, my God, for the Adams family, the Watson family, the family of Elaine Johnson. I'm praying for the Mount Sinai Institutional Baptist Church. I'm praying for Pastor Maurice Williams. I'm praying for the Taylor family, the Oliver family, the Lindsay family. Lord, families everywhere that are grieving. God, but we need your grace and your power. Remember them now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We're praying for the Miller family, God. We're praying for Sister Rosina Scott, Sister Candy Craig, the Coach family, Mother Sally Carr and her family. We're praying for the Nunn family, the Austin family, the Kinlock family. We're praying for Lady Janet Brown's family, the Norwood Gray family. God, we're praying for Apostle Charles Williams and his family. We're praying for Mother Moya and her family, the Perry family, the Poole family, the Hill family, the Lunsford family, the Howie family, the Hester family, God, today as they lay Mother Hester to rest. We're praying for Jaleesa Harris and her family. We're praying, my God, for Renee Jones and her family. We're praying for Raymond today. Every grieving family everywhere, God, look on them now. God, remember, my God, Lady Andrea Maxwell, Charles and Cedric and the family. Look on Dr. Phyllis Carter and the family. Look on Bishop Michael Field Shekinah and the family. Look on Mother Ida Harrell and the family. Family, Mother Jacqueline Grant and the family. Look on the Groover family today, the Kramer family, the Hargrove family, the Blunt family. God, people everywhere grieving, but Lord, be their comfort and their peace now. God, remember the Bynums, the Taylors, the Lloyds, the Carters, the Giles family. Look on my God, hallelujah, the Meadows family, the Moyer family. God, strengthen them in the name of Jesus, the Perkins family. God, I pray today for the Dockery family, for Sister Fa Pam, oh God, and her mother and her sisters now. I'm praying. God, that you remember in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, the White family. God, look on Anita and the Brian Hopkins family. Margie and the McLean, Melvin, and Street families. The Ransom family, the Jackson family, the Ned family, the Green family, the Newkirk family. Brenda and the Allen McNeely family. Sean and Monique and the Gary Porter family. Trell and Ryan and the Allen Williams family. Tommy and Michelle and the Clark family. God, I pray for families everywhere. The Smith family, God, the Mays, the Dunlaps, the Purdy's, the Sneeds, the Washington. Washington Fields family. God, remember them now. Remember the Winninghams. Remember the Bankses, the Middletons. Remember the Taylors. God, look on. Hallelujah. The Felix family, the Sapata family, the Mannix, the Boojums, the Gleans, the Arthurs, the Matherins, the Briggs, the Phillips family, the Taylor family, the Josephs. God, strengthen now. Remember Pastor and Lady Mannix. Remember my God in the name of Jesus, Pastor Stevens, and strengthen every family in the name of Jesus Christ. Remember the Davises. My God, the Austins, the Allens, the 
Caldwells, the Hayes, the Moors. God, look on the Harbisons. Look on the Adams and the Austin families. God, strengthen them now. Every grieving widow, child, parent, sibling, loved one. God, help and strengthen now. God, I pray for the church today. I pray for the body of Christ. I pray for every apostle, prophet, evangelist, pastor, and teacher, every bishop and elder, every first lady, all the pastors, children, mothers and missionaries, ministers, deacons, all of the young people in the church. God, I'm praying today that you would look on oh, the entire body of Christ today. Our God and give strength. Help us to be worshipers of you. Help us to honor you. Help us to glorify you. God, because you are indeed worthy. I pray for first responders, essential workers, firemen, policemen, EMTs. I pray today, my God, for school employees and students everywhere. I pray, God, that you remember everybody that works to help others. My God, in private duty, in hospitals, rehab centers, nursing homes, hospice centers, God, clinics, banks, stores. My God, factories everywhere. People work, God, cover and protect. Keep us safe, God. And if there's any sickness or injury, God, be our healer. And Lord, as you're healing, Lord, heal this land, this troubled, troubled world. My God, all over the world, from Turkey to Sudan to the Ukraine, God, all over the country, all around the globe, God, heal the land from sin, heal the land from violence, heal the land from hatred, from jealousy, heal the land from injustice, heal the land from racism and sexism, and let the church be the light of the world, God, Ishanama, and the salt of the earth. God, I pray that we will honor you, that we will glorify you. Lord, help us today and bless us and keep us today, and we'll give your name the glory, the honor, and praise. In Jesus' name, amen, amen, amen. Everybody on this line, come on and help me give God the glory. Everybody on this line, help me to give God the glory. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, God, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. This is my declaration for today. Lord, let me worship with your creation. Lord, let me worship with your creation. Everything the Lord made, he made to worship. Hallelujah. The angels were made to worship. The heavens were made to worship. The clouds, the stars, everything, the mountains, the birds, everything was made to worship. Hallelujah. And we were made to worship. We were just given the ability to choose to worship. And you know, some of us don't even choose. As good as the Lord has been to us, as faithful and gracious as he's been, we don't even choose to worship. But everything that God created was created to worship. And whether you do it or not, you were created, hallelujah, you were created to worship. So Lord, my prayer today, my declaration is, Lord, let me worship with your creation. God bless you, my brothers and sisters. Thank you so much for being with us this morning. I'm trusting that this biblical meditation and prayer has blessed you and that your day is off to a great start. Look, you can stay connected to Refuge Temple all day today. This prayer service is available on Facebook, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram. Thank God for those that join us by conference call. Keep coming and being a part of the call in the name of Jesus Christ and share the number with others. You can also stay connected through our podcast, Google Podcast, Apple Podcast, Cast SoundCloud, and Spotify. All of this available 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Our radio broadcast airs every day, Monday through Friday at 8.30 a.m. on GregoryGospel.com. Let me thank everybody that sees and sows and shares with this ministry. Your gifts help us to do so many things that we need to do, and we thank you. We thank you for your giving, and if you want to be a blessing, you can mail a gift to Refuge Temple Church, P.O. Box 3552, Burlington, North Carolina, 27215. That's Refuge Temple, P.O. Box 3552, Burlington, North Carolina, 27215. You can also give online 
Our website is www.refugetemple, N is in North, C is in Carolina.com, refugetemplenc.com, and you can give on the donate page. You can also use the GiveLify app if you have that. Just simply type in Refuge Temple Burlington, and you'll see the picture of the church to know you're in the right place, and you can make your gift there. Or if you have Cash App, our Cash App is dollar sign the number one refuge. Dollar sign one refuge is our Cash App, and you can make a gift there. And we thank you for your giving, but we thank you most of all for being a part of this prayer family and how God is blessing people all over the world because we are praying. Yesterday, hallelujah, as we were praying, I prophesied that somebody was about to have the victory in warfare and somebody testified in the chat that the Lord gave them the victory on yesterday. So God is answering. God is hearing. God is responding because we are praying. So my brother Brother and sister, keep praying. And as you pray, pray for me. Pray for Lady Davis. Pray for our children. Pray for my father. Pray for my sisters. Pray for my in-laws. Pray for our nieces, our nephews, our entire family. Hold us up before the Lord. Pray for Refuge Temple that God would continue to bless us. And let's pray one for another that the grace of God might keep us and sustain us in the wonderful name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Today, the Lord allow you to worship with all of his creation. Until next time, this is Pastor Davis. God bless each of you. Shalom, shalom.